Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on implementing private public key encryption and decryption in c -sharp using Visual Studio 2022. Today we'll cover the basics of encryption and decryption and walk through a simple example to demonstrate how you can secure your data using the RSA algorithms. Yeah, so basically if you haven't if you haven't downloaded and installed uh, Visual Studio 2022, make sure you do before we come out to the next stage, yeah? And then, basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. So let's get on to it then. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Let's select the console app, yeah? And here, obviously, configure all your project details and everything here. Yeah? I've already created console app, so there's no point creating it again, yeah? So here, once you create the console app here, yeah, this is what you get. So basically, you have this with the console.write line here, yeah? but the only thing I've changed is the enter, the enter message to encrypt, yeah? So basically, to save time here, yeah, we're just going to go ahead, bang on the uh, we just, we're just going to keep going here. Yeah? So here we're going to declare a variable string. Going to call it message. And it will be equal to console.readline. Yeah. And the next bit is we're going to declare some byte arrays. So byte array, this one will be um, encrypted. Encrypted message. And we're going to have another byte array. And it will be decrypted message. OK. So let's move on to the next one, yeah? So we're going to use the using statement using um, RSA RSA. So it will be equal to RSA dot create. Okay, so here this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna first declare our string. And we're going to call this um, public key, and it will be equal to RSA dot. Uh, we're going to put um, we're going to convert to base base sixty four string, and we're going to put RSA. dot export RSA public key. So basically this will be our public key. So we're just gonna write it to the console. So we're gonna say it's a public key. And of course, we're going to do the same for the private key again. So we have our string variable. We're going to call this private key. So this will be convert to base 64 string. And this will be RSA dot export RSA private key. So we're going to write the same thing to the console. So we're going to call this, our, our, this will be our private key. So let's move on to the next bit. 
which will be to encrypt our message okay so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna put rsa dot import rsa public public key because you obviously you need a public key to encrypt the message so we're gonna convert this one will be convert from base 64 so we're going to convert our public key from base 64 and then out so the next bit is um we assign it to our encrypted we encrypt the message okay so encrypted message is RSA RSA dot encrypt. So this is what we're gonna put inside the RSA dot encrypt. Encoding. UTF the UTF eight dot get get bytes. So put in our message. And then we set our encryption pattern to PK, uh, PKCS1, okay? So here we can display our encrypted message. So encrypted, this will be our encrypted, our encrypted message. So it will be convert to base 64 string. So we put our encrypted message inside. Okay. We put a new line here. Okay, so now, now that we've encrypted our message, so let's go ahead and quickly decrypt our message as well. Okay. So we can decrypt our message by doing this. So first of all, we're going to put our RSA. Dot. We're going to import our private RSA private key. So this will be convert from base 64 string. So we put our public, I mean our private key inside. And then we set it out. So let's put um, our decrypted message. Let's get our decrypted, uh, let's decrypt our message. So it's RSA. Dot decrypt. So this will be our encrypted message. And then our encryption um, pattern. So this will be PKCS1. Okay. So right now that we've decrypted our message, let's 
let's go ahead and print it out so this will be uh, decrypted message so this will be encoding dot etf eight dot get string so we put in our decrypted message there for um, semicolon here okay so as you can see here now we've been able to get a message and encrypt it with our public key and decrypt it with our private key so let's have a look at how it's going to plan out okay so let's run it and see so we f5 or we click on this so right now it's running it's up it's actually prompting us to um, enter the message to encrypt. So I'm just going to enter hello world and press N. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of things. First of all, we've got our public and private key, then and then an encrypted message. Basically, I should have separated them. And then our decrypted message, hello world, back here. Yeah? So basically, we've encrypted the message with our public key and decrypted it with our private key yeah so i'm just going to leave this video for here for now so if you have got any issues don't hesitate to drop a line and once again please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like the video as well have a lovely morning evening wherever you are